Okay, so let's take a look at how we can customize the chatbot using our own custom CSS rules. So if you open your dev tools and uh, we take a look at the elements of the chatbot, then uh, you can see that I've given every element of the chatbot a distinct class name so that you can grab that class name and kind of make the changes that you want so that you're not bound what, uh, by what I think a chatbot should look like. You can kind of customize it to uh, look exactly how you want it to look. So uh, let's take a look at how we can uh, manipulate this to, uh, for instance, make the chatbot wider. So uh, we have the React chatbot kit container here. So if we open that up, we can see that it has a width of 275 pixels. So let's go ahead and increase that to say 500. Now that makes the uh, chatbot box a little bit wider. So we need to take a look at this message here, uh, which has a fixed width and uh, we can remove the margin left of auto here in order to make that snap uh, into place. And um, yeah, that makes it easier for us to have a little bit of a wider field. And if you want to do that, that's something you can do. But it goes to show that you can basically take any of these uh, classes here and you can change them um, to your own liking. So I just want to show you that quickly. Um, and yeah, that's it. I don't think we need to go into any more detail here. Just go crazy and make the chatbot exactly how you'd like it. All right. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to create widgets and how to render them with your chatbot responses. So I'll see you there.